another one of my videos. Today we, the discussion will be about Jack Thompson. Now, I know Big Al mentioned him in one of his videos and I want to take the time to say right now that if I sound like him, it's because he literally took the words right out of my mouth, alright? I agree with him completely 100% on the whole thing that video games don't make kids violent. In my opinion, the sheer fact that the parents don't take the time to explain the difference between video games and reality is what makes the problem. So, that's my opinion of it, but if I sound like Big Al, it's because, simply because I can't think of anything else to say because I don't want to sound too much like a broken record. I'm not going to cop. I don't want to be th thinking people think I'm copying him. Because I don't like copying people. I don't like plagiarism, alright? I think plagiarizers are the most, one of the most lowest forms of scum on the face of the earth. But anyway, Jack Thompson. This man is an attorney. And he has a humongous rate, he has a war going on with video games. And he also has a war going on with computer games. Why is this, you ask? Because he says video games makes kids violent and he blames school shootings on video games. The, I'm pretty sure all of you know Virginia Tech the Virginia Tech incident, you know what his response to that was? That, oh, well, we have to take into, into concept about the violent stuff he had. He played Grand Theft Auto, and this could be used for training. No! Just because someone plays Grand Theft Auto doesn't mean they're going into training to, to shoot people at their school. And forgive me if I sound cold about this. Alright? I'm not trying to make the people who were involved with Virginia Tech or the Columbine incident, but the truth of the matter is, was Columbine. My question is, why didn't their parents sit down and talk to them at all? You know what I mean? I mean, I've read that they used to sit in their rooms and stuff like that for hours on end and stuff. Well, if that were true, and if I was one of those guys' mothers, I would go in there, into their room, and ask them if something was wrong. If they wanted to talk. Or, or get them involved with counseling. Or things like that. I, I'm not trying to, to sound like a psychiatrist. And I hope I'm not sounding offensive. But that's just my ver my opinion on the thing. I mean, and <clears throat> the thing is, Grant, the biggest things he talks about, as Big Al says, is Grand Theft Auto and Mortal Kombat. You, I heard someone say, I I can't find out if this was Jack Thompson or not. So we're going possibly going past the subject here, but. Someone said, oh, well, you can shoot people and run people over and shoot cops, and it doesn't show any of the consequences of doing this. Well, actually, yeah, it does. Any of you who've played the Grand Theft Auto series will know that if you keep doing that enough times, you're going to get chased by the cops. I should know I've played the Grand Theft Auto series. I don't own it. A friend of mine owned it, and I used to play it every so often with him. And not only that, this going to computer games now. And I'm going to make a big reference to this, to something interesting when I get through with this. The Sims 2 game. He says, oh, this game is terrible because it shows graphic nudity and graphic sex. Well, no, it doesn't. Everything in the Sims 2 game is pixelated out. Any of you who've played the Sims 2 game will know this. When the Sims go into the shower, or when they're, they're on the toilet, it's censored. Everything's pixelated out. You can't see anything. And, and the people who, do, who make the Sims game,
They say even if you remove the pixels, they look like Ken and Barbie. And Thompson says that, simply says that, well, they should be disgusted or something like that for giving out a, 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 a M-rated game for a rating for ST. All right. Well, here's where it contradicts, pal. Contradicts everything, pal. Whenever a company makes a computer game or a video game, they have to send it to the rating company so that it can be rated. So the rating company, not the people who made the Sims game, the rating company gave the game a T rating. You want to BS at somebody? How about you BS at your precious rating company, pal? Not give bull to the people who made the game, all right? It's the rating company's fault that you should be screaming at then. And second of all, the whole sex scene thing, you can't see anything. It's just two Sims in with a bed bouncing around. You can't see anything. And the only way you can get gra graphic stuff and everything, you know, like new detail, details to bodies, you, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to say it because I don't want this to get flagged, but that's something a fan made that you can download. And people have been making skins and stuff for the Sims game for God knows how long. I have no idea. But people have been making eye colors and skin colors to, ma to make anime Sims. The company has to be responsible for what people do to their games. Oh, well then I guess we have to sh yell at everybody who uses a Game Shark or Auto Replay to make cute little cheats or unlock little things in the game. Because that's the same thing. To get these downloads, you have to put it into the Sims game. To use Game Shark or Auto Replay, you have to tweak around with the game's code. So that's pretty much the same thing. I don't hear anyone except Nintendo saying that it's bad for the game not to use a Game Shark, but the moment someone makes a naked skin for the Sims game, the whole thing goes completely insane. This is the same thing about what happened with that, um, Heavy Metal Rockstar, I think it was, I forget what his name is. Some kid committed suicide, and the guy, the guy who created the music said, I just create music, I'm not held responsible about how people interpret it. The Sims Company should be held responsible for people who decide to make naked skins of their characters. And another thing, Thompson says this is a way for pedophiles to plan their actions. Alright, well here's a little tidbit. How about we stop letting the pedophiles out of damn prison, huh? I mean, do I need to, to say about how pedophiles are at high risk of being repeat offenders, or how sex criminals are repeat offenders. These pieces of scum should never be, should never set foot out of prison or jail or whatever once they're put in there. And if people start making comments about, oh, well, they get beat up by other jailmates, well, then make a separate prison for the pedophiles and sex offenders and shove them in there. In my opinion, those pieces of scum shouldn't be in society to begin with. They should never be really released back into society. And again, it's just... <sighs> Alright, look. When I was... Just to give you a bit of info. When I was younger, my father played M-rated games. Torok. I don't know how many of you know Torok, but that was the first M-rated series that I was ever introduced to, and I was young at the time. Definitely below the age of 17, which is the age you have to be to buy an M-rated game and, of course, give ID. 